I did my very best to let you guys know that January and February were probably going to be the two worst and most challenging months of the whole year and the Saturn square Uranus on the 17th was probably going to be very challenging. I remember Monday, February 15th, early morning, and I was freaking out talking about super doom and strange Jedi signals tonight. There was heavy stuff going down and i was even talking about how like it was almost like super villains were telling texans to kneel before zod well it was announced yesterday that texas was seconds and minutes away from a catastrophic months-long blackouts officials said and so yeah that time was the early hours of monday morning so i'm just saying I'm a pretty good source for telling you guys about the shit as it's happening in real time. No bullshit, bro. Hey, look, Jupiter's moon Io's volcanoes are lit. And yeah, go ahead and celebrate because the mini Ice Age week is now over and we are no longer in solar minimum conditions as we have two new sunspots on the sun and. Tomorrow, Mercury will go direct, and you can see Jupiter in the sky again. So, better days are ahead of us. And we avoided World War III twice this week, so go ahead and celebrate if you're into that type of thing. Sorry, I took a super rare phone call. What was I talking about? Uh, it was probably Planetary Defense Commander stuff. But yeah, buddy, we're still having weather. Weather is still happening right now at this exact minute and if we don't get our shit together the volcanoes are going to go extra ballistic and i think they're going to be very very active either way and when i broke down that nostradamus for us nostradamus was mentioning italy quite a bit and etna has been freaking out this is pacaya in guatemala though because the volcano chain in mexico and guatemala has been going nuts I lost my train of thought, but in a good way. But yeah, we knew that the dark winter was going to be bad, and I think we're through the worst of it. And we got sunspots and solar storms, and we're inching closer to the spring night lights. Wow, lost for words. And so I straight up kind of like told you guys that the storm was coming since the 2nd and 3rd of February, so it felt like a hurricane run where I like talk about the event for two weeks and then it happens. So my brain is waterlogged. That's not the right description. Ed Piotrowski, live on the Wakamawa River in Longs. Thanks for the shot of River Island Adventures. Yep, this is South and North Carolina. And I'm trying to keep my ego out of it. I just want to say again, I'm a pretty good source of information. You know, this is Mount Etna again, freaking out. It's going to continue to freak out, probably. Even Florida is going to get in on the winter days. It's a little shock for some compared to the last few days. I got wood. That's TMI, Mike. Definitely TMI, bro. But beware iguanas falling from the sky. But I definitely want to say again, thank you to everybody out there in Asteroid Fight Club. You guys have just been consistently amazing to me over the years and in every situation pretty much. I cannot express properly how much I love and appreciate y'all. I'm so grateful and I feel so lucky. But what a week, man. I went like two and a half nights without power. I was over, you know, I know it was crazy. Crazy times, man. I've got this like $5 pack of bacon that the power went out, but it was still kind of freezing temperatures. So I've like spent the last 10, 20 hours going, can I eat this bacon? I probably shouldn't, but I really want to. I can't even imagine wasting $5 bacon. I don't want to get sick, man. Yeah, it was a week, bro. It was definitely a week. But it still kind of feels like greed is the overall dominating force that binds us all together. Oh, this is earthquakes. We've had some seismic activity lately. 
Yeah, definitely. It's been picking up. I might go live tonight, but I gotta warn you, I look like crap. Defense Twitter is talking about reserve currencies. You know, reserve currency status does not last forever. I would never threaten the sun because I love the sun and I think the sun protects us. And then if at some point the sun does fry our grid, we probably deserved it. But I thought this was funny. How are you doing? Yo. Yeah, spring is just right around the corner. The northeast is right around the corner. Wait, no. The northeast is better dealing with snow and, and ice than the south for sure. Isn't that right, JKP weather? Other places around the globe are dealing with dust and heat. Oh, and yeah, so I, we avoided World War Three twice this week. So, so that's, did I say celebrate? Okay, good. Lost in all the mess. was This is like the least romantic Valentine's Day ever. Okay. See, sometimes Florida does have all four seasons. Yeah, volcanoes and earthquakes are probably going to be a big issue this year. That'd be my guess. And so if you're new here and you ever see me tweeting about the Val as Marineris over the map of the USA or you see me tweeting the Edgar Casey flood map. See, this was the 15th. That means we're at the brink and definitely at DEFCON WTF and we're working to avoid World War III in this perpetual, weird, power vacuum, blackmail economy. Remember when the uh, entire economy of the world globe crashed in 2008 when seven banks failed at the same time? It was like a blackmail. They were blackmailing for power, money, and stuff. And then when the lights went out in the White House in 2014, same shit. But it, to me, we've got to the point where it seems like you can't keep up that type of extortion economy. But we'll see. The power is in the people, but only if the people unite to protect themselves. And we've made it through every darkest day we've had so far. And I think, you know, we're past, like I said, the sun is waking back up. And so we are past the deepest nadir of this dark winter. So, hey, stay cool. Be cool. I love you. I appreciate you. You're fantastic. You are awesome. And we are an excellent team. And so my prediction in 2020 that the worst months of 2021 would be January and February. We will find out for the rest of the year because that would mean if I'm right, Every month will be better than these two. And that we have the potential to have a really, really, really awesome summer. With like laughter, rock and roll, romance, teamwork, friendship, fellowhood, brotherhood, people getting along, us fixing and rebuilding and modernizing things. You know, like we have a giant window for good teamwork in March. So let's not miss it. All right. Hey, if you're permanently negative then you know thor news is not really the place for you because i've been hearing nothing but doom since you know 9 11 and we've survived and i've been hearing that like my personal doom was going to come for since i had been doing this for eight years i'm still here with you and so keep the faith all right god bless everyone i think god loves and appreciates us all but we're going to have to work together, set aside our differences for common goal to get to the place we want to be. All right? Peace out. I love you. Merry Christmas.